guys, I'm Layla. Today we're gonna be playing some raid. We're gonna be checking out Astralon along with Sigfrund, okay? And this is gonna be courtesy of US. US is back and he's got some fun showcases for you. So I hope you enjoy this. So Sigfrund is fully, look at this, he's got a six star blessing and he's a plus one. And Ashlot also has a six star blessing and he's a plus four. So before we hop into arena, we're gonna check out like all their gear and stuff, right? So we're gonna see with Astralon, he has no cruel set and he's also in lethal. So the lethal does give extra crit rate and ignores enemy defense. Now check out these stats you guys almost 51,000 HP look at that attack holy god 10k on the attack is that the most attack you've ever seen on an attack champ holy cow 3,000 defense, 240 speed, crit capped with 357 per set crit damage, 297 resistance, and then 277 on the accuracy. Now, I want to say he's fully booked, as he should be. And then for his blessing, we went with a six-star Phantom Touch. So six-star Phantom Touch is going to give additional speed on top of Icarus accuracy, resistance, crit damage, defense, HP, attack, and also 100% chance of afflicting bonus damage. And for his masteries, we are down the offense and the defense trees. What you don't see behind me is we have methodical kill streak, and the T6 is going to be Helm Smasher. Next up is going to be Sigfrond. Now I had asked about this, and primarily we're kind of focusing on his, you know, his base form. But if you guys haven't seen a Super Saiyan form, I love his form. He looks so cool. Look at that. That's so neat so neat but for the sake of this we're going to switch back because again depending on which form you're in the stats are going to change the total stats too as well as like what you see here so i'm just gonna point that out so with sigfrund he's in speed and then you're also going to see that he's in a full savage set which also ignores 25 percent of enemy defense so let's look at the stats He's at almost 52,000 HP, 8,700 attack, 3,300 defense, 265 speed. He's crit capped with 304% crit damage, 290 resistance, and 241 on the accuracy. And he's fully booked with Polymorph. All right. Now this pleases me. He's got a six star Poly. 20% chance of placing an irresistible sheep debuff. So that also gives him speed, accuracy, resistance, extra crit damage, HP, defense, and attack. <laughs> that, this pleases me. I'm very happy to see this. And then for his masteries, we're also down the offense and the defense with the same offense masteries as Ashlon with Helm Smasher being the T6. All right, so that is Sigfront. So we checked out both Ashlon and Sigfront. So let's head into the arena. All right, guys, here we are in the arena. We're in gold of five. So US actually has three teams put together. So Astralon's return. He has Earl full of sheep and pirate booty. So I hope you guys have a lot of fun with these. We'll probably try, you know, we'll try out a couple of these ones, right? So the first one he got set up here is this one, which is Astralon's return. So it has a shoe zen. Ashlon, Crixia, and Siffy is what we have here. So Shuza, we're focusing on her purging petals, which is going to be increased attack, crit rate, crit damage. It's the turn effects too. And if someone is shaped or moves that too, which is pretty neat. Into her charge of the Valorous, which fills the turn meter at increased speed. Ashlon's Light of Sanctity, which removes all the buffs and also can do a stun as well. And then Divine Imminency. Attacks an enemy, ignores increased defense, strengthen an ally, protect, and also can revive an enemy too. Crixia, now she's a really, really cool mythic, right? So we have Deadly Apparition, which could be the AOE removes all buffs from enemies. We have her going into Super Saiyan form. Then we're gonna have her do her Reign of Damnation, which is gonna be the AOE and fills turn meters, right? And then also she could do her Doom Lantern as well too. And then Siffy, Love Beyond Death. Fills turn meters, increase attack, increase crit rate, and then we're gonna do the whirlwind romance. Okay, and let's go. So as you guys watching on YouTube, US is laughing. He said he called a pirate's booty because it's a popcorn his kid likes. I actually really like that popcorn too. And if you guys have ever had pirate's booty, it's like a cheddar popcorn or something. Whoa, they dropped fast, right? When I was chit-chatting with you guys, I didn't pay attention. <laughs> okay, well. Ashlon did 273k damage. All right, well, that was a thing. 
I guess we're just gonna go down the line and then we'll switch to one of the we'll switch to like out some of the other teams as well too. <laughs> Whoa, and the one shot. Two hundred and nine thousand. All right, so this one, I mean, we got Heli, we have a Reviver here, so. We're gonna have to see if these guys are fast enough to go first. All right. So Sun Wukong's got, okay. That was fine. So he got through Heli and our Reviver there before they could do anything, which is good. That's what I was wondering, how fast they were gonna be, if they're gonna be able to take him out before they try to go unkillable. So the speed is helping for sure. All right, we'll do another one of these. We're going to switch to some of the other teams so you guys can see them. And we just see Crixia transforming over here, too, when they get a chance. And she does. There she goes. All right, nice. Going through quickly. So Ashla did, like, 322k there. All right, let's go. Also, seeing a bunch of, like, our mans in the arena now, too. And the one shot. Oh, boy. All right, let's switch to another team so you guys can see them. Ooh, we got a... We got a Marichka Terrace here. All right. All right, guys. So, we have a uh, Marichka Terrace here. So, for this cop, we're actually going to switch to Earlful of Sheep. We're going to go the Siegfried cop, okay? So, this one, she's at... You know, she's set up the same way. We're still going to be starting with the Purging Petals. Sigfra, we're going to go to his Seraphic Wave, which is going to be the AoE. Each crit fills the turn meter. And then we have Rage of Nephilim, which ignores target's defense. Fully heals if the initial hit kills an enemy as well, too. You Mecha, Layla Mecha. Dance of Time, which is going to decrease the cooldown. So, whoop! And then we have Destiny's Mirror, which does the Hex, and then Miss Siffy, Love Beyond Death, into Whirlwind Romance. So let's play. We know these Marich Gateras ones can be pretty terrible. So let's see how they do. Pauling a Terrace right away, huh? Oh boy. There's a lot going on here. I love watching the sheep's attack. Woo! That would have killed you, Mako, if she didn't end up having that unkillable proc. Nice! Look at that. Okay. All right, so now we gotta focus Siffy down so she doesn't get reach get back up. Woof! Oh, that Taros is mean. The sheep kind of saved our Siffy for a little bit there. Woof! All right, that was a close one. That one was close. How about this one? We'll go play over here. We're gonna do Marichka. We have Marichka, Crixia, Leo, and a Sigfriend for Sigfriend. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Okay. All right, that's fine. She dropped. That was good. We needed her to drop, Marichka. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. That's fine. I'm sorry, Yumeko. She was sacrificed. She was sacrificed slightly for that. All right. So we could try this. Let's try this Marichka Terrace comp. They're just tough in arena to begin with. I know those of you guys watching on YouTube, US was commenting how like that other comp was just ridiculously stacked. I mean, it happens, guys. All right, Siegfried was good. Look at that. That was fancy. He popped everybody back up. That was really cool. I do like seeing that. 
So when he died, he transformed and popped everyone back up. That was really cool. Sheep! And we still have another cop too. We have Pirate's Booty. <laughs> Which, like I said, actually is a favorite snack. I do quite enjoy that. If you guys have never tried it and you like... It's not exactly popcorn. It's almost kind of like... Cheese puff popcorn, maybe? Is that a better way to explain it? Like a cheese puff popcorn? <laughs> Alright, he transformed back. Okay. My poor, uh, my poor Yumeko there. <laughs> poor Leila Meko. These guys are pretty stacked, too. Wait. Oh, did he try? I think he tried to metamorph. Do you guys see the metamorph proc? But the sheep also proc, too. So that was a very interesting mechanic to the game. All right. Let's go to the next list and let's check out. So the next comp that we have is called Pirate's Booty. So this one is going to be our man Siffy, Astralon, and Yumeko. So our mans, we're going to have him do his greatest hits, which is the AoE and steals all turn meter, sheep and stun. And then we have for my next trick is going to be doing some sheeps. Siffy, same thing, love beyond death and whirlwind. Astralon, we're going to have him do his light of sanctity into his divine imminence and then Yumeko, we are gonna have her do her dance. Yeah, I think that was a sheep morph. Did you guys see that? That was a very interesting mechanic there. I hadn't seen that. Where I saw it where it said metamorph. So literally it procced. But I think like it procced, but then he got sheeped almost like immediately or like the way that it did that. That was just interesting to see. Oh they sheeped each other <laughs> Okay, that was funny. Did you guys see that? Oh, that was funny. Our mans, our mans and um, Elva. Our mans and Elva, <laughs> like they sheeped each other. That was amazing. So this one is called Pirates of Booty. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Guys, drop me some comments down below. Oh my god. Do you guys have any mythics? How are you doing? It is a fun seeing. Oh, we got these two together, huh? It is a fun seeing. Just some of these mechanics too. She begetted. And then, yeah, we have that plus four Ashalon, which is what we have right here. And then we also have that plus one Sigfront. U.S., thank you so much for the showcase, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. Arena can definitely be something for sure. Oh, this guy's fun. I actually haven't seen him. He's the, um, he's almost like the anti-Santa, like the evil Santa, right? Krampus, I think people were saying is what this guy looked like. I can't remember his name. He came out newer, I think, around Christmas time. I mean, Astralon doing whew, almost half a mil there. Yeah, and so also our mans just have some solid accuracy and speed combos for sure. U.S., thank you so much for the showcase, guys. I hope you enjoy this. Drop us some comments down below. You know, are you, who are you running? You know, what comps are you loving? Do you happen to have any plus four champs? And I'd say, you know, if you're running Arena quite a bit, who, who do you have as like, has like your max attack on it right i'm assuming like this plus four ashlon is probably one of us's most stacked attack champs for sure i'd love to know drop me some comments down below and thanks for watching